Hello everyone and welcome to GSE at Home. My name is Celine and today we are going to be talking about light refraction by doing a simple experiment. For this you will need a glass of cold water, a piece of paper and something to write with. On the piece of paper draw two arrows, one pointing left and one pointing right so that they are facing opposite directions. With your arrows Rest them on the back of the glass so that you can see the arrows through the glass of water. If I start to move the paper further away from the glass, can you see what happens? The arrows flip direction. If I look at the paper on its own again though, nothing has happened to the arrows at all. They are still in the direction which I drew them. So why do my eyes see the arrows as flipping direction when looking through a glass of water? When light passes from one material to another, it can bend. We call this refraction. In this experiment, the light passed through the air, through the glass, through the water, through the back of the glass, through the air again before hitting the arrows on the paper. Every time that light passed from one material to another, it refracted. To see why the arrows flipped directions, we can think of the glass of water as a magnifying glass. When light moves through a magnifying glass, the light bends towards the centre. Where all of the light comes together is known as the focal point. When the arrows were in front of the focal point, we saw them in the right direction. However, when they were beyond the focal point, the arrows reversed. This is because the light rays that were bent cross over one another. So the light that was on the right side is then on the left and the light that was on the left side is then on the right. You can try this experiment at home. Different sizes of glasses have different focal points. If you use a very large glass, you might see that no matter how close you hold the arrows to the glass, the arrows will always appear reversed. This is because in some large glasses, the focal point is actually inside of the glass. Try this at home with different sizes of glasses. If you use a small glass, you might even be able to see that flip happening very clearly. What happens if you keep the piece of paper still, but move your head backwards and forwards instead? Can you see if you can get the piece of paper at the focal point where it switches? Here are some other examples of this light refraction happening. written vertically on a piece of paper. Resting it behind the glass, we can clearly see that word arrow. As I start to move it away, we can see that the letters flip round in the opposite direction. Let's try again with a different word. This time, we are going to use the word atom. Placed behind the glass, we can see that word. As it starts to move away, the word still reads atom. So why does an atom look different? Why doesn't it properly reverse? This is because the word atom is symmetrical down the middle. So even when flipped direction, it still looks the same. You can try that at home using the word atom. You can also see if you can come up with any other words which are symmetrical down the middle so we'll read the same when they are flipped. We often see the refraction of light in our everyday lives. If you have ever looked at an object which is underwater, you will know that that object appears closer to the surface of the water than it actually is. That is refraction. Understanding the refraction of light allows us to develop things like glasses, 
binoculars, cameras and microscopes. Thank you for tuning in to GSE at home today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We will try our best to answer them. If you do this experiment at home, tag us on social media in any of your pictures. We would love to see what different things and words you come up with. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.